Hi everybody, good morning. It's Jean here on the most beautiful, sunshine, beautiful, warming, not, not tremendously warm Pennsylvania day. I just wanted to say hello. I'm just coming out um, to check out some noise I heard. <laughs> I was in the house and um, of course the, they're working down at the bridge, which I have a little story, which is all good. Um, what happened the other day, but first of all, um, Maxwell's home and he's helping us out as he does around the property. As you know, we have all of this land here and lots and lots of trees have been cut down. Well, Maxwell, let me turn this around, see if I can, see if I can show you what Maxwell is doing. We are using, or he is, using our quad yep. here and um, one of our son's trailers, um, his work trailer. Um, oh, we're so pleased about it because we are having to move, or Maxwell's having to move, all of the wood from the front of the house that was, one of the trees was cut down, back to our log pile. Now we're in a little bit of a quandary because our log splitter broke <laughs> um, and it wasn't it, it was through no fault of our own um, apparently these log splitters have the one that we have have a, have a life expectancy um, and they continually break it's understandable because they're smashing and splitting logs we might have to get another one that's actually hydraulic but takes a lot longer apparently like 13 seconds to split a log as opposed to the ones that were splitting this heavy duty one that our son had but it's broken um they break and then you get parts you can we were speaking to an expert tree man he said they break all the time so we felt bad because we it, the lever had broken and he said there's so many moving parts smashing away that it's understandable that they break but um here's our quad that we had gotten for maxwell to have fun with and he's having fun and i was concerned about the weight of this trailer here this is one of our son's construction trailers oh it's hopefully you can hear this it's very windy um but it's working it's working it's working well um maxwell's loading up from the front of the house as i said some logs this is a really nice trailer i had said just go to um just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get a smaller one, which we still might do. More just of a landscaping, more of a landscape uh, trailer as opposed to this heavy, heavy duty one. But let me just turn this around. In the uh, autumn time, our boys had come, maybe you saw that video on them cutting down trees in the woods here. We have wood for days. the other night of a, a, a massive rainstorm and of course I was trembling in my boots uh, but I have some footage hopefully I can put it up from my phone we walked down uh, the bridge held um, a lot of water came down here in Pennsylvania tremendous amount of water um, and uh, we were I was I was getting very concerned again mr. Pas mr. Mr. Optimistic Ian he was like no no I, I believe it's going to be okay the water rose and rose and rose and it rose like four foot <laughs> it did it rose very very quickly tremendous amount um the rain here again with the flooding the bridge situation that I've addressed a million times before it's not um, a steady rain. We could have rain for four days and it's, it would be absolutely fine. Um, it's just these pummeling, pummeling, flood-inducing rains. That's the whole problem. Um, 
it's not like just a, it's not like rain it's these like i said the tr tremendous tremendous amount of water that's coming down you probably can't hear this because it is really windy out here but it's beautiful i was sitting I was sitting outside getting some much needed sunshine just for a few minutes because it's not good for your skin um, too much sunshine um, but some vitamin D oh, it was nice it's interesting about my skin people been and I, I don't mean to boast but people can say to me oh you have such pretty skin for my age um, I am noticing recently because of my I think it's called ma masked me. I, I've never ever had dry skin or a, a, some things around my chin ever and I have and I think it's because of wearing the masks when I do go out because I can feel it like I'm very claustrophobic I wear the masks anyway but I don't like it um, so hopefully that will be coming to an end and my skin will clear up because I never really had that I uh, take care of my skin. Oh, there's lots and lots of activity out here, out front. Oh, the trucks and so I, I digress. We talk about logs, <laughs> rivers, <laughs> quads, and my skin. <laughs> so let me, uh, let me see what Maxwell's doing out front here. So you like this trailer, Maxwell? I don't want it any smaller. You don't want it smaller? I don't know. Careful. Not the one we saw at the landscaping place? <laughs> the clever boy. <laughs> Maxwell. 
You watch your back, man. <laughs> yeah, that's good, though. Oh, you did get the... Oh, boy, what a good boy. Look at that. Look at that. Maxwell got so much of these rounds off the property now. If you remember... Oh, my goodness, there's tons of activity going on here. We got... We got... Oh, I think they're paving the road, yeah. Um, yeah, we... The, uh energy company had cut down this tree for us um, and then that was filled yeah I don't usually like to film when the workers are here I don't want them to get creeped out or without their permission but I'm on my property and we have a road over the bridge do you see that folks we have a road let me see if I can hone in on that. I will walk up later. I don't know if you can see that. Tarmac Adam Road. Wow. And tons more trucks coming. Do they have asphalt in them? I could get closer to see some of the action but you, it's been a mo several months now that I'm constructing this bridge there's a steamroller rolling in the roadbed awesome awesome we have a road So Maxwell, I've, I showed the video of you asking everybody to comment below, should you have a beard or a mullet? You got a haircut? Pretty good haircut. And you need to shave. Uh, I was joking about that poll. I didn't expect it to be <laughs> come out. Well, a lot of people commented, but you, you have to, you actually, you have a heavy beard, so you have to shave every day. Uh, this is, not a beard at all. No, no, it's not a beard. But what have you come to the conclusion about a beard? I'd rather, for my Bible meetings, I'd rather be clean shaven than have a beard or a mullet. Ah, uh, that's it. That's it. Who's shiny? What's over there? Oh, what's up? <laughs> Maxwell. So no beard and no mullet for Maxwell. He's come to that conclusion himself. I don't know about Although this trailer either, Maxwell. Comment below. Should Maxwell get a smaller trailer? <laughs> I think this is a bit too big. Uh, I mean, I know your quad pulls it. I know the quad pulls it, but I'm not, I'm not comfortable, Maxwell. Um, there, there is a smaller trail than, than, than this. I, I know, I know. The no, I said it, it, it's smaller than this. Maxwell, you keep saying that. I know that. But why, what is wrong with me pulling the... The, this thing around. Because it's too big for the quad and, and it's, it's too big. Like it's not necessary. This thing takes construction stuff. We just needed to pick up some weeds and mulch and leaves, silly boy. <laughs>
of Maxwell. So thank you Maxwell for everything you did. and I don't know if it's recorded well I can hardly see myself but um, yeah lots going on and um, yeah I'll put up some footage of what happened the other night with the rainstorm but we were okay all right everybody have a good day and I will talk to you later bye